Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Unify Access Pocket Key Fob. Seeing as this is just a key fob to get into doors, we're also going to look at the new mobile app for Unify Access. The Pocket Key Fobs are multi-layer encrypted, they are IP54 and waterproof, and 10 come in the pack. Right now, what you're seeing is the price for Canadian. This is $132 MSRP. I think they are $99 in the United States. And if this website looks a little bit different to you, this is the new website by Ubiquity, and I really like it. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unify Access Consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com, and we do have a Discord that you could join if you're looking for some help. Also, I do have affiliate links down in the description below. Before we take a closer look at the pocket key fobs, we're gonna look at the Unify Access app. They've totally redesigned the user interface and we could authenticate by using our face ID, which we will set up. Also, we'll get a Unify Access Hub adopted as well as Reader Pro. Okay, you can now see that I'm on my Unify Access app on my iPhone and we have two devices that are found. So I have an Access Hub and then we have the Reader Pro. So we're gonna have to adopt them. I'll press adopt. The door name I'm just gonna leave on default. The floor will be floor one and then the reader pro will be the entry and then we'll press add. Now on the main dashboard, it says we have two doors, two users and two devices. I'm not sure where the second door comes from. If we click on the devices, we could see the door hub. So we could see UA hub and then we could see the reader. The reader does have an update. So we'll click on it and then we will perform the update right from the mobile app and that's very responsive it took about half a second for it to push it to the reader now let's take a look at the hub itself i'm going to click on it and if we scroll down we could slide to unlock the door so this is great if you're managing this door and somebody rings it you could unlock it we could also look at our insights to see what has happened right now it just says someone because i haven't really done anything with this yet under the settings we have the door name we could leave unlocked which is never but you can do a custom schedule say you want the door to be unlocked between eight in the morning to four in the afternoon you could do that and then we have two door attendants so under our users we could see that i have two users cody mccallum and then mac telecom so let's click on my mac telecom user this is showing that we have zero cards assigned to this user we could see which group it's a part of and we could see the date that it was added under insights this will show us any activity that this user made and then under our settings we could give it a name we could show more we could give a card or we could add a pin we will add a key fob to one of these profiles again we have our access log and activities and then we have our different settings now to set up the face id for the unify access mobile app we'll have to touch on our profile and then we're going to have to go down to app preferences from the app preferences we could go to the use face id and i'm going to turn that on so now anytime i log into my unify access mobile app we could just use my face scan to be able to get in which is a very convenient feature now let's take a closer look at the unify access pocket get key fobs and then we'll go back to the computer and get one of these key fobs configured and this is what the box looks like for the pocket key fob i did open it up because i got excited once it came in the mail but like always ubiquity does great packaging so if we look at the top they have this little box cover and we could pull it up inside the box we have our 10 pocket key fobs so let's take one of them out on the top of the pocket key fob, we could see the new Ubiquity logo and it's being held up by this rubber piece. So we could actually pop this out. So I'll take it apart. I'm not 100% why they did it in two separate pieces because this could potentially fall out if you're pulling it out of your jeans. I haven't had that issue yet, but I have heard some others have. The NFC technology behind the pocket key fobs is ISO 14443 Type A. It's MyFair Desfire EV3 4K, and then it has Unify Access proprietary security protocol. The NFC frequency is 13.56 megahertz, and the operating temperature is minus 10 to plus 45 Celsius, or 14 to 113 Fahrenheit. So I was gonna show you this on a computer, but I think it will be easier this way. I'm inside my Unify Access app, and I'm gonna add a card to the Mac Telecom account. So we'll click card. And then we'll select the reader that we want to pair the card with. So now we have to hold one of these fobs up to the reader for five seconds. So I'll grab the fob and then I'll hold it up. And you could hear that it took that and we're going to assign it to this user. Now we could see that card 10001 has been added to the Mac Telecom account. Let's put it back up to the reader and see if it unlocks the door. 
and it did unlock the door. I don't have an electric strike put in there right now, but it did work as it should. Let's see how far we could have the pocket key fob to the reader for it to read. So it doesn't seem to be taking it from that far away. Let's go a little closer. Invalid. Saying invalid card. We'll go a bit closer. So it's only about a few millimeters off of the reader and it will read, which isn't a problem for me. I prefer these key fobs over their cards. So final thoughts on the pocket key fobs. I do like them. The design is really great. They almost look identical to Apple AirTags but the price is a little bit high. For that price, I would expect to have 20 of them. I really do dislike the cards as I find they're easy to lose. At least with the pocket key fob, it will be on your key set, which hopefully you won't lose those. It would be nice to see Ubiquity add the pocket key fobs to the Axis Starter Kit rather than the card. I think a lot of people would enjoy that better. Let me know what you think about the new Axis Mobile Kit and the Axis key fobs down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.